Dollar Badmos TV. Entertainment. If there is one thing we can agree on tonight, it is the fact that our creative industry has grown, really grown, and is still growing. And tonight we're here to celebrate that growth, of course, where we've come from, where we are right now, and where we are going. It is the Lagos State Constellations of Stars happening right here at the State House Marina. And we're celebrating music, movie, comedy, dance, everything entertainment, particularly us. This is brought to you by the Headers and the Lagos State Government. And you know it is proudly supporting um, Nigerian talent music-wise across Africa. And this year we are going international with the Headers. The 15th edition will be live in Atlanta, USA. And yes, tonight we are having a pre-event where the Lagos State Government is hosting musicians, comedians, movie stars to a night of conversation. And of course, I know this particular collaboration would definitely push us to the next level in the creative industry. My name is Moyo Sorel Lua. This is Enyola Badmas TV and I'm here to bring you everything happening here at the State House as I will be talking to some of the guests right here and trust me we are definitely going to be digging up the history of entertainment in Nigeria and how far we have come. Stay right here as we have a fantastic night together. <laughs> Let's welcome Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the Lagos State Governor, the person of Mr. Papagide Olushola Sanwo Olu. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. No pressure from the case we shall prosper. I shall deliver in the name of Jesus. Our governor just walked in and I don't know what I'm doing again. Everlasting King of Glory, help me. Ladies and gentlemen, our governor just walked in. I'm under pressure. I refuse to bend up in the name of Jesus. You know what they say, you already know what to my girl, fine boy Gabby, actor Lomo, you know, 100% always. How are you doing tonight? Fine, thank you. Give me that smack. Give me that smack. Yeah. <laughs> now you're for me, gentle. I don't know why. Last time I saw you, we were shooting bass bows, bass bows. I walk with that. <laughs> How do you do I'm fine, thank you. It's good to have you come out. Definitely. I, I, I'm expecting so many stars tonight because, after all, we're celebrating stars from the music, movies, you know, fine art, art design, and everything we can call um, creative in Nigeria. Of course, Lagos as well because that's the host of this event. That's, that's the pot <laughs> of the soup, yeah? Yes, yeah, so that's it. So, and coming out tonight, you've been one of those celebrated and seeing entertainment move from where it used to be to where it is now what are the words to express what we are feeling or experiencing this time uh, for me I, I see it as um, 
as a grand style movement. Things can only get better with time and the more dedicated we are to it, the better it gets. That's it. And I'm loving the fact that everybody knows that and they see that, hey, don't worry, in another five years again, not be where we did now, we will do again. So it's, it's the constant working, constant belief in what we do and um, not um, thinking of naysayers and just focusing on what matters. And then, and that's the result you're seeing right now. Whatever you see blossom in the industry is, the, is basically because we're all focused people. Uh, ah, yeah, we know they watch. Uh, now, they, now you, now you know. Now you know, what you know what I'm Now you know. <laughs> we they do what we they do. They go, and everybody will love us. They love us like that. So I'm, um, I'm super, super elated about that, and um, it can always get better. Yes, it can, and we've experienced a lot of things. Yeah. I mean, this year has been magnificent. I, I am a movie critic and I've had to do a lot of movies back to back to back. I mean, back then when I started reviewing movies personally, I almost didn't have movies to review because you have to wait a long time before another one comes to the cinema. But now we are having it, it we are blossoming so much, right. so well. Right. What's our secret? Our secret is what I just said, dedication. Seeing this as a livelihood, this is what we know. Uh -huh. This is why we're here. Uh -huh. This is why we're made. It's a purpose. Uh -huh. Do you understand? It's not just a job. Uh -huh. We live for it, so we can only get better at it. So it's um, it's 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 a journey of a long time, and um, I'm glad that we're we're still pushing, and we still believe it can always get better. Right, and there is one collaboration that I now find very interesting, right. and that's the synergy between the music industry right. and the movie industry. Now we hear soundtracks by some of our, you know, favorites in the movies, yes. music industry. Yes. That collaboration is one of the things we're celebrating today. The right. fact that we can now have both worlds merged together yes. on platforms yes. like this yes. one. Yes. Uh, do you think that what we're experiencing now is sustainable? I mean, that collaboration. It's very sustainable. In short, they've always been sesame mm. over time. An actor could sing. A singer could act. Yeah, sure. A singer could act. They go both ways because they are uh, they are out of storytelling. Do you understand? If you know what I mean, I mean, hey, as a singer, you're telling a story. Even your music video, you are acting. Do you understand? So you need to express the words for your listener to actually feel it as well. Even when you're recording your audio, if there is no emotion in your voicing, forget about. It. So it's um it's a good match. Not like. See, let me say, tell you, see, both actually are intertwined and um, having them separate is, is still okay, but this shouldn't be so surprising because they've always, if you're watching the film, you already know yeah, what's up. They have everything from acting, music to dance, you know, they merge, not like they can't just go for drama, but they saw that as a platform where they can showcase everything in one. And it's been welcomed for over, you know how many decades we've been seeing that so. This is the same experience, the same feeling. We want this to happen. In short, for the state government to be part of it, mm -hmm. it means a lot. Right. We've been looking for this avenue for a very long time where the government would have a hand in what we do. Because I tell people, you see, entertainment is like your PR session of a nation. How do you sell your country? It's via movies, via every other thing. I know conferences and all, but let me tell you the truth. Movie does magic to PR about a nation. So having to have this and music as well, you can see how everybody's been celebrating us across the globe. Our music is penetrating now. So it's the love and passion. So we keep it going like that. I did say something earlier and the fact that I'm having some of the most interesting and intellectual interviews tonight. I mean, something I'm picking out of that was something you just said right now is entertainment is the PR. It's the PR of a nation. I'm taking that home. <laughs> Finally, you mentioned the Lagos State Government. I was right. going to come there. Um, coming at this time, we've waited for it for a long time, but coming at this time, do you have mixed feelings? No mixed feelings, better late than never. We've longed for it. So if it's happening, let's caress it. Let's enjoy it. At least now, they believe in it, unlike before. So we, we don't need to um, scold them we don't need to act like, oh, you guys are late. No, no, no. If it's happening, it's happening. Let's just welcome it and have more of it to happen as well. So that's that.
And Edis is going to the US. Yes. How do you feel about that? Yeah, landmark, man. First of its kind. This, this, these are the things. We want Oscars to come to Nigeria as well at some point. That's the whole idea. Intercontinental affair, you know. If they've been hearing about it, they have the opportunity to see how it's been organized firsthand. Do you understand? So to cushion the Afrobeat gospel that is going on around now and um, having our own prestigious award, which is the highest form of musical award in Nigeria, in Atlanta. Uh, and you have the likes of T.I., Osha come around. What do you expect? Man, it's, it's a glorious moment. And Onkwa Un has always been a pusher. He's a strong man. And if this is happening, trust me, kudos to him and God as well. And you'll be there. Yes, yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Hey, we can't wait for that. Thank you so much and have a master, master, master fun night tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, thank you very much, right? As a government, um, we have a whole lot of responsibility. A responsibility to take care of all of our thriving industries and sectors. And if you notice in our team's agenda, right, there's a second E there, which says entertainment and tourism. So it's not something that we just created today. It's something that has been in our DNA. It's something that has been part of our economic agenda as a government from the on go, from the very set. And so this is just the one that you have seen. There's been a lot of collaboration that we've had with other entertainment companies in the country. And what exactly have we been doing? We've been training people. We've been training, you know, script writers, I mean, film directors, artists, and all of that. And so we've been paying um, sort of like their tuition fee. We've been giving them opportunity for them to learn more. But with Edis now, Edis for us, like I said earlier, is like the Grammy of Africa, right? And we've been part of it. I personally have been part of it from the back. Now it's going bigger and better. It's going a local flavor to a global state, right? And the minimum we can do as a government is to support such initiative. And so that's why we believe that we're taking the stars out of a country to Atlanta. Edis is going there. And as a government, we're supporting them and we're on the journey with them to Atlanta. Two things, to show our artists and to also show the rich culture that Lagos has in stock for the world. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, Thank you. you very much, sir. Thank you very, very much. I'm sure you all enjoy your evening and you join the movement. We'll see you all in Atlanta. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry, sorry for uh, coming in to join yes. the governor. Um, I'd like to say something to you guys and uh, thank you so much for. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for, for being here, everyone. See, uh, this is just a defining moment in our history, and I want everybody to actually really uh, support this. Um, oftentimes, we go on this kind of like journey on our own. It's not all the time that you want to do something as massive as this. Then you have your own government. We talked about this for so many years. All those guys that have made progress around the world, they have their system behind them. They have their system. So if we are having this, our government, our own governor, saying, you know what, guys, we are here for you, and we are going. To, this is not partisan. This, if you, if you are going to the world, to have something as major as this, you need policy and decision makers. You know, because we are going with a large number of people, and you know, we have to protect ourselves, our reputation, so that our government, you know, and and their own government, it, there's diplomacy, and. The, the exciting thing is that our partners, the U.S. government, the White House, they're going to be at the Eddies, the, the uh, consulate here, you know, they're also supporting their awards. And they're not just stopping, supporting their awards, they're supporting the creative industry. It's not just about the Eddies, it's about yeah. our own creative industry. Wherever we're bringing, the world is accepting. And we should be proud of ourselves. We should clap for ourselves and we should just also clap for our leaders and thank them so much for making sure that you know what, we are able to face the world and conquer. There's so much talent in this country that it's just like you're at the beach and there's so much sand. That's, and some of them may not be discovered. That is the, that's, that's the fair. But if we have this kind of support, trust me, the sky will be the limit. The, the guys that are making progress in the world, everybody's making noise about now, they're not up to 10. And I see these guys when they come up and when they hit the limelight. And I know how many people that, that are even as talented that don't have the opportunity. This is just so defining. And I want you guys to all support this, 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 
this initiative this and, and this movement. Yeah. Join the, that's why we say join the movement. Yeah. And I'm glad our, our governor, the government of Lagos State, where you come from, wherever you are in the country, and make it and become superstar. Yeah. They are recognizing this and they are joining the movement. Thank you so much, Thank Mr. You. Governor. God bless you. Hello there, welcome back to Anyola Badmos TV and I have the ever, ever energetic and of course ever thrilling anyway, comedian right here and I think it's very right for me to start this conversation with him on the birthday song notes. I'm going to sing happy birthday, Lua. Hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. I'm supposed to be dancing right yes, now. So you should be dancing. You're wasting my song. But again, I know you had a fantastic day yesterday. I was checking out all of your posts and I'm sure you had fun. Just like that, 50 don't go, 51 don't come. How do you feel? Oh, uh, it feels good. I mean, uh, it shows that um, I'm still in progression and I have every reason to thank God for life. And yeah, basically, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I know you are, and we're celebrating a lot of things today. We're celebrating the gathering of stars and the progress entertainment has made in Nigeria, particularly music. You've watched that progression for many years. How do you feel about where we've come from and where we are today? Well, we have come from uh, a very long journey, and uh, it's good to see that the entertainment sector is adding serious value to the economy at the moment. And it's also good to see that it is taking us places. And uh, when you look at all the artists from the likes of Bonaboy to David O to Tiwa Savage, Whiskey, and the rest of them, you can tell that uh, what we have now is more like an export material that the world is waiting for. So when you find yourself in that rain and time, uh, you, you, you're meant to celebrate, you're meant to be happy, you're meant to to share that joy, knowing fully where that all of that is happening in our time. All of that is happening in our time, he said, and you've seen a lot of times, right, when it comes to the progression we've noticed in many years um, down the line. And yes, looking at the collaboration we're having with Lagos State Government, how do you feel knowing that the government now recognize the fact that we, I mean, in the entertainment world, are contributing immensely, not just to the values in the society, but also to the economy? Well, I would say it's long, it's been long overdue, and uh, for the government to get involved now is a step in the right direction because this kind of collaboration is going to uh, give birth to even more uh, successful achievements in the entertainment sector and also in the government sector as well. So it's, it's, it's a pretty good measure that is going to be a win-win situation. And this is a prelude to Edis happening very shortly. Are you going for the Edis this year, knowing it's yes. outside the country? Of course I'm going for the Edis. <laughs> and what are your expectations? Uh, you know, I've attended all the Edis. And so this one that is taking us international is going to be an addition. So expectation will be me seeing that Edis taking it to another level, even much more bigger and better. So. We're all together. The stars will shine. The stars will shine. Thank you so much for talking to us, sir. Okay, I have one of the finest and ch reigning champion, actually, because nobody, nobody don't collect him. Um, White Money is out here. White Money, how are you? I'm great. Thank you so much. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. And it's so good to have you on a night where we are celebrating music, art, we're celebrating everything, entertainment. You have embodied entertainment and you will come to see you and love you for that. Everything you've done from the Big Brother Ninja platform to doing music now. And you know, music is in the forefront of what we are celebrating tonight. Um, being a part of this celebration and this kind of gathering, how do you feel? Um, I feel privileged. I feel really honored to be here. It's not easy because you see, um, like I said, music is the only thing that projects Nigeria to the world. Yeah, this is the only working system we have currently in our country. Every other thing is dead. Only our music is the what is keeping us alive as a country. So for a platform, a brand like Hades to jump on it and being the forefronters and the projectors of music to Africa and to the world and from Nigeria, it's a big deal. And now having the government involved in it, is a bigger deal because now the government aligns with the dreams and visions of the youth, knowing fully well that oh, it is music that sells Nigeria. Basically. Right, right. Um, 15th, uh, this is coming up very shortly in September. 
I don't know if you've been part of anyone before now. I've never been part of any Hades. I've never been nominated. I've never won. I've never uh, attended. Um, this year on the Door for America. Uh, kudos to those who get plane tickets. Uh, we'll go watch out for YouTube. <laughs> right, man. We know that you'll be attend now. It's this stuff. But really, it's, it's, it, there's been a lot of questions regarding why should they take it to the U.S.? Some people have come to say it's a good thing. I mean, it's about taking our products right there to the world. Other people are like, this is where we've always known the Eddies. Where do you stand? Um, it's a two-way thing, you understand. So I believe the organizers have their basic reasons why they did that. Um, I think they're trying to get uh, a bigger recognition in the sense taking a Nigerian award, an African award to the States to do that. Uh, it's not going to be cost friendly, and, um, but it means also that we're trying to project to the world that yeah, we have something to offer on a bigger scale and we can actually do it. But um, they should have two editions so that people like us that don't have flight ticket can you know, come and do our own here in Nigeria. So we we'll attend. <laughs> now, one of the events we don't they attend like this, have you? Uh, yeah, so this one is the pre award. Yeah. So we we'll attend it in peace and enjoy it. <laughs> Then we'll watch the rest on YouTube. All right. <laughs> and the collaboration we're having with the government, um, what are your thoughts concerning this partnership the government is having with the entertainment industry? Honestly, it's the only way forward. You understand? Collaborating with the music entertainment, the musical artists, the, uh, the musical gurus, is the way forward for the economy. Because all forms of collaboration that we know so far, as long as government is concerned, has failed. You understand? And it's still failing, woefully. So connecting with the musical people, with the musical background, connecting with the youths on the musical scale, because like I said, this is the only platform that sells out Nigeria. So for the government to come into it, that shows that they have aligned and they've understood that, man, music is the way. So our next president should be a, our next president should be a musician. <laughs> yes. I feel like say you don't have comedy to what you do. It's <laughs> 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 Thank you. So <laughs> <laughs> what money? Thank you so much for talking to us and have fun tonight. Thank you so much. Thank God bless you. Yeah. Hey, wonderful people. My name is Amyola Badmos. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Amyola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news. You can get to what different entertainment updates. And of course, all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And Enola Badmos TV Entertainment.